have actually started internationalization uh, through MOUs. And uh, the next step I would like to see is more uh, student exchanges, especially for our students to uh, visit other universities and have some global exchanges and learn about how other uh, students in the world study. This would be good. Uh, currently also we have a lot of uh, students visiting the Maldives, but not uh, Maldivian students visiting abroad. And we have uh, challenges, that we, ha we can have uh, students visiting abroad for shorter periods of time but uh, going abroad for longer periods of time becomes a challenge because uh, most of our students are working and studying and uh, managing a family at the same time so it has we have our challenges but i would like to see more student exchanges we are actually uh, taking first steps in research we have some collaboration collaborative researches with uh, some universities abroad, like uh, Edith Coburn University in Australia, and uh, also with the University of Malta. Uh, so we have specific uh, collaborative research pieces, and uh, I, we would like to make it wider, have more, uh, let's say, more research with partner institutions as well as, let's say, with more than uh, one university. And I think uh, with this forum, we have uh, so many people from the same region coming together. There are a lot of opportunity to, to do collaborative research in uh, this area. For example, today with the uh, session on uh, technology and education, um, we have, uh, f the Maldives has the highest penetration rate, I think you saw yeah. 75%. But in terms of population, we're just 0, 0.0 something percentage of the whole region. Whereas uh, in India or Afghanistan, you have uh, different uh, statistics. And I think there is uh, a lot we can learn from each other. And if we can do research with say, not just one partner university, but more partner universities, we can make an impact. And uh, this uh, forum actually has introduced us to some Western partners that we can partner with in terms of uh, making this research have an impact in the region and beyond. Because we are the national university, we want to address national priorities. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, in, in my presentation, I mentioned the issue of um, not enough men going into higher education. I think that's an area we need to research into. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have increase in uh, increasing youth population, but we are not really able to capitalize on uh, this population in terms of uh, contribution to the economy. So that is one area we would like to see more research. Also, we have uh, challenges in terms of health, education. So technology would obviously be one area. Uh, health, uh, our health services are improving, but still we need to reach everyone across the Maldives. It's a challenge. We have a lot of ongoing research in different areas. And I'd like to mention with our research grants, we have uh, research on our traditional medicine, uh, whether it's uh, of high, high quality or not. That's something that we are doing. So we are doing research. And there, I think uh, there are uh, important areas, like uh, especially uh, the workforce, the youth workforce uh, and the youth in higher education and also health services that we can focus on. But I think uh, we are leaving the boys behind in terms of uh, basic education and beyond, like secondary education. Um, perhaps we are not reaching out to the male mindset, maybe. That could be one reason. And also uh, with university education, most of the courses that we offer is uh, more, uh, probably more likely uh, courses where uh, women are more attracted, like nursing and teaching. Uh, but we uh, general things like IT or engineering, this also women uh, are increasing. I mean, the participation of women are increasing. But uh, we need to invest perhaps more courses based on STEM and also uh, more higher education opportunities in terms of uh, more hands-on professions like uh, engineering. Perhaps that would uh, 
um, increase the male ratio, but we also have to look at the gap between secondary education and university education. If, uh, let's say, school leavers, uh, if well, with secondary education also, uh, boys are not performing as well as boy as, as well as girls. So the qualification, the entry criteria, when you look at the entry criteria for university, most of the boys do not fulfill the criteria. So there is something uh, lacking in the school system also that we have to address in order to make sure that we have more boys in higher education and also the workforce. Mm -hmm.